Tonight, 14 beams of light are illuminating Montreal's skyline, marking one of the darkest moments in Canadian history. It was 25 years ago that a lone gunman walked into Montreal's École Polytechnique, professed his hatred of feminists, and killed 14 women. Today, the city is remembering those women who lost their lives. Good evening and thank you for joining us. For the survivors of the Polytechnique shootings, the emotional wounds of that day are still raw. Tonight, we hear from one woman who was shot four times. And as Paula Samuel reports, she's trying to turn that attack against women into a positive support system for them. It was a dark, snowy afternoon in Montreal on December 6, 1989. Engineering students at Ecole Polytechnique were nearing the end of their day when a nightmare began to unfold. The worst mass murder in Canadian history appears to have been triggered by the suspect's hatred of women. A crazed gunman burst into a classroom ordering the male students to leave. He then began a deadly rampage. Fourteen women were murdered that day. It was the day that changed my life forever. And uh, now I'm, I'm built uh, with that inside of me. Nathalie Provo was one of the survivors. For 25 years, she's carried her scars, both physical and emotional. Mark Lippin really tried to kill me. I was shot four times. Provo doesn't know why she survived, but has a heart-rending theory. If a god exists, I think that he tries to protect my parents, my families, because I lost a brother six months before December 6, 89. And I think that for my parents, losing two kids in a year would be too much. So in a way, I always have the feeling that I was protected by my brother. And although each anniversary of that fateful day has been hard on Provo, this one seems especially poignant. That's an, an anniversary that say out loud that we will remember but that we are um, we are looking into the future with it we want to have new projects and we want to fulfill dreams in the memory of those who died with that goal in mind Provo helped found a new project at her alma mater the order of the white rose a thirty thousand dollar scholarship created as a tribute to all who were at the heart of the tragedy. Polytechnique say to the world, something awful happens in our wall. We are very sad. Some, some of our girls died because of that even. And they had dreams. Paula Samuel, Global News, Montreal.